Hi everyone, my name is Phil McKenzie from Iceberg Audio. In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Iceberg. We are a new audio plugin company focused on making really minimal plugins and effects uh, for music producers. So in this video, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about Iceberg. Um, our first product, the sub, was just released just over a month ago. Uh, and we haven't really had a time yet to kind of get in there and tell people about us and what we're working on uh, and show more behind the scenes, which is what we really want to do. So this is the first of hopefully quite a few videos going through different aspects of it. In particular, we'll do a video on the sub and going into a lot of uh, detail on that. But in this one, I just want to tell you a little bit about Iceberg and kind of where all this came from and a little bit about the story behind everything. So basically this started um, with me a few years ago. Uh, for a long time, I've been working in software um, and music is a huge part of my life. So I've been a producer and a, a DJ here in London um, doing and combining those two was something I always really wanted to do. And a few years ago, I took that step and I built a virtual reality uh, DJing app called Reality Dex which really kind of leveraged all the things I learned from DJing and a bunch of tech stuff and tried to build this uh, simulator uh, that allow you to really DJ and record mixes in virtual reality. Uh, so that got released a couple of years ago on Oculus Rift and that was a really fun project. Um, and while I was working on that, I really felt like I wanted to go back and do something in the plugin space. And as a producer, I've always really liked plugins that are really minimal. I'm a big fan of bigger synths and I have to say when I started building my own uh, synths I feel I did what a lot of developers do and um, which is great but I it's interesting to see the path I found myself on building a very large wavetable synth so I have quite a large wavetable synth about 50 60 percent uh, completed what happens when you build those things I started to feel that while I really love that as a, a developer as a music producer I went, you know what, I just want it to be simpler. I just want like one dial or, you know, one knob I can turn to to get me that sound that, uh, that I want. Um, so I started taking a slightly different approach. I said, well, how can I make uh, synths and plugins and effects and everything much uh, simpler? Uh, so I started doing a bunch of prototypes that were based around making much more minimal plugins. And around about the time when I had some of those have been going, I got introduced to David Gubitoso or Gubi, and he had this idea for a plugin called the Sub that he'd been working on for quite a few years. And he had sketches and I, you know, he, the whole thing worked out about the, there being a need for a more minimal um, sub based plugin. Uh, so we started talking about that and realized it'd be a really good idea to uh, work together to, to bring this uh, to life because we really saw eye to eye on the more minimal side. And Gibby really knows this area well because he's a working producer day to day, doing a lot more full time production than I have ever done, doing stuff for, you know, TV and film and uh, working in the EDM scene. So he's really up on what everyone needed. And I think that kind of complemented everything uh, I've been doing quite well as so we thought we could work well to work together. Uh, so we started building out uh, prototypes, um, got a prototype going quite quickly. And then at what we started to realize that um, although it's a small plugin, there's just a lot of devil in the detail really uh, in terms of making it right. And we also had a journey to go on on the user interface because the user interface is incredibly important in plugins. So we went through multiple iterations on that and eventually met um, Dimitro who helped us put together at uh, the GUI you see now on the sub. Uh, and doing lots of the really awesome 3D renderings and stuff, which are really fun. Uh, so in another video, we'll go through the sub in a lot more detail, tell you more about that journey and tell you a lot more about the uh, inside of it and how it all works and everything. So I suppose from Iceberg over the next while, you can expect a little bit more of that, more um, minimal um, effects and plugins, and really try to simplify production in certain um, key areas. That's what we're going to be focusing on. So that's just a little bit about Iceberg and uh, hopefully you'll tune in again for some other videos of the next while while we go into a bit more detail about everything we're working on. Thanks.